Anybody that's recorded any test cases inside of finance and operations for, for RSAT knows that it's quite a bit of planning goes into it. Um, you have to plan for what, you know, what fields you're going to validate, what, what items you're going to copy so that you can use for variables later on. So there's quite a bit of, you know, planning that goes into those. So basically, once you make a recording, you want to be able to use that in other test suites. So you'll want to be able to transplant that from your first test suite to other test suite if you've got a test case that executes the same steps. Now, the problem with doing that is if you use the same exact same test case, it shares the parameter file. So let's just take an item number, for example. You know, test suite one may use item number one and test suite two may use item number two. And you can't really do that within the same test case. Fortunately, there's a pretty easy way to fix that. There's this actually built right in the RSAT tool. You don't really notice it unless you're looking for it. So let's go and take a look at how, how we can do it. So what I've done here is I've got two different test suites set up and they've got the exact same test cases in them. So this would be an example of one you might have for creating and confirming a purchase order. So just so you know, it's, this is gonna create a purchase order. Then this is gonna add a line item to the purchase order. Then it's gonna confirm the purchase order. And I have right now, I've got the exact same test cases within the, the second suite as well. You can tell about the case ID, three, six, and five, and three, six, and five. So here's the problem. If, let's say I've got this add item to purchase order, and I go and take a look at this parameters file, and for this particular one on the, you know, the, the item number here, I want to make that one A0002. So I'll have to make that A0002. I'm going to save that. Now, if I go look at the second test suite, and let's take a look at that parameter file now, we're going to notice it's going to be A0002 as well. So if I go and say, okay, on this one, I want to run A0001. I'll save that one. And then if we go back to the first one and look at the parameter file, we will see that it is A0001. So it's, it's sharing the same file as what it's doing, right? So there is an easy way to fix this, to be able to run this with different data. So if I go back to my uh, procure to pay number two, and I go ahead and, and select the one that I'm, I'm wanting to use a different parameter file on, if you go up here to new, there's, a, there's an option here to create drive test case. So let's select that option. And it's gonna tell you, it's gonna, create a derived test case. Once the case use cases that are derived or the test cases that are derived have this check mark by them. So what we need to do is we just need to position this one. So I'm gonna move this one up right where my six was and we don't need that six anymore. So I can delete it. So I'm gonna hit, there's a little ellipse right here and we'll say delete test case. And since that one is, since that six is on the other test suite, I don't have to worry about it deleting the entire test case, okay? So it, I think it's gonna tell me that here. So I'm just gonna say yes. And it'll say it's been removed from the test suite. The work item from the test suite is not removed because it also exists in another test suite. So as long as it's in another test suite, you're still gonna, your test case is gonna still stay there. And now we have this one that's derived. Now, if we go and take a look at it, let's go over, flip over to DevOps here and go to my procure to pay number two. Here's my, my new one that was created. It's got the underscore one on it. And if I drill into it, what it does is it creates um, a parent-child relationship. So the parent is that original test case, which is number six. So it's gonna execute the steps from this one, but it's gonna use a different parameter file. So what we need to do now is go back to our set tool and we're gonna go up to this parameter file. And now what we can do in our test case steps, change this from A0001, change that to A0002. If we flip over to, to procure to pay number one, and we'll go and take a look at that parameter file now. So we click on parameters and we should still see it say A0001. So that's just an easy way to replicate the parameter file in your test case, okay? So hope you found some value in that. Until next time, see you later.